Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is that time. I am Lisa Sherman, <laughs> and you'll see my my various animals running around over the next hour. Um, we're going to get right to it today. For those of you who are first joining me, welcome. Uh, for those of you who've been joining me for a long time, thank you. And also, thank you for your kind comments, constructive criticisms, um, all that. And for those of you who are my who are friends of mine on Facebook, thank you for um, your kind comments with my music and my song. Okay, let's get right to it. Uh, make sure, like I have a bar, I have a full gym here. Whatever you have, make sure you have read the description of the class and you have something that will anchor your weight. Really, really important. We'll do our best to get to upper body today. Um, therefore, you just need between one and three pound weights. If you don't have weights, you can just use nothing at all or some soup cans or something. Um, you need a mat and some water and let's get started. We're doing a lot of hips today. All right, laying down. Um, let me get the music going. That's always a help, and there we go. All right. We're going to place your hands behind your thighs. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. We're going to engage our ribs, contracting our colon, roar, roll down. Here we go. Okay. We're going to start today up on our toes. Up on our toes. Hands down flat. Make sure the balls of your feet are really into that floor or mat. We're going to elevate our hips. I'm going to squish my shoulders down towards my feet. And we're going to hold this position. Now, on that note, I'm going to open my legs just a little bit, not hip width. Hands underneath the glute. I'm lifting up a little bit more. Now, as I'm lifting my hips, I'm taking my belly button and I am compressing my belly button into my spine. I am using something underneath my neck. It's squishy. You can use a towel. You can use a ball. You can use whatever you want to use. Actually, a ball is not going to be um, logical, obviously. But some people need that extra support. That's fine or nothing at all. Now, as I'm talking to you, I am isometrically contracting my glutes, I feel the stretch right from my knees to halfway down to my thighs. I'm going to curl up a little bit more and I'm really pressing my balls of my feet down on the ground. I'm going to drop down, lift, down, lift, and down. Basic, basic movement. Now this is your hip extension. You're going to feel a contraction in your hamstrings. You're going to feel a contraction in your glutes. Your trunk has to stabilize. And all in all, it's a variable movement. You can move a lot with this. You can have a full range of motion because we're going to offer a half range very shortly. This full range offers a full opportunity to ingratiate the core, the glute, the uh, quadricep is that stretch, and the hamstring is the contraction. Four more. Two more. One more, and you're going to hold this position. I'm going to reevaluate my positioning, reevaluate my core, reevaluate re my footing. Now, I'm doing a very small range of motion, hardly moving at all, and really concentrating on the crease underneath my glute. Eight more, please. Squeeze, squeeze, resist, squeeze. Now, my belly button, my transverse abdominis, which is a parallel muscle, is also in contraction. Four more. Three. That's part of the abdominal wall. Now, as you lift up, we're going to externally rotate. It's a very small movement, but I'm opening up my hips. Now, as I'm doing this, opening up my legs and my hips are going to contract, I'm feeling this right about here where my hands are touching. Gluteus medius minimus, external rotation. Eight more, and squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze up. Four more. And four. 
four. We've got lots to do today. Three. Two more. I'm going to hold the legs open. I'm going to do the smallest, smallest moves. So my legs are staying where they are. I feel predominantly now that movement right at the top of that hamstring. The crease of my glute. I'm pulling my belly button towards my spine. My shoulders are relaxed. Arms are relaxed. Keep going. Keep going. Four. Three. Small little pulses. It's out. 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 This is just a warm up. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Really zipping up my core here. Really zipping up the core. Four more times. It's one. Two, three, four. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna bring those hips down. I'm gonna bring my thighs in. Good morning. I'm gonna roll my ankles. Roll the ankles. I'm gonna roll the other way. I'm gonna take the leg that is closest to you. I'm gonna hover it on the ground. I'm going to lift up the other leg. I'm live. I'm gonna put the leg closest to you on the ground. The other leg furthest from you. Foot is pointed. Thigh is turned out. Arms relaxed. First movement. Up on kicks. Reaching. Up. Make sure you have full range of motion here. You're not hitting anything. So make sure you have room. Now as I'm kicking, I'm pulling my belly button into the ground. My foot is pointed. Four. Three. Use the energy. Hold on one. I'm going to hold on to my calf. I'm going to bring the leg a little bit closer. I'm going to take my foot. I'm not sure if you see it in the, in the camera, but I'm going to flex and point. Flex and point. And flex and point. And flex. Two more. Flex the foot and point. Flex. Keep the point. Now I'm going to hover the leg closest to you, just gently off the floor. Now I'm going to let go. I'm going to move my headpiece. I'm going to lift up my shoulders. I'm going to contract my abdominals. So I'm bringing my sternum towards my belly button. My neck is relaxed. Isometric contraction. If you find you can't keep your spine on the ground, lift your leg higher. Your choice. Hands gently behind the head. Now I'm going to bring the leg together and curl them curl and hold, bring it down and release, breathe out, breathe in, bring those thighs together, beautiful work, four more, nice contraction, feel every movement, it's not huge, but it's specific, two more, one more, and I'm going to hold, I'm going to bend my knees, 90 degree from knee to hip. My shoulders are still off the ground. I'm going to take my legs. I'm going to push them away from my body and touch the ground and curl. Keep the shoulders off the ground. Now I'm taking these legs and I'm reaching and I'm reaching this way, forward and down. And I never bring the knees closer than my hip. So there's that 90 degree, yeah? Curl in, keep the shoulders off. Curl in, keep the shoulders off. Curl in, two more. Curl in, one more. Curl and hold. Put the feet down, head down. Second set, full range. Let's go. Lift. Now my feet are hip width apart. Body is starting to warm up. Brains are starting to, to uh, connect with the body. Sometimes you feel like you're out of body when you're doing all this, right? Four more. Four. Three. Two more. Keep those hips up. Now. Up. A little bit down. Up. A little bit down. As I'm going up. I am pulling my belly button down. Pull the belly button down. Bring the spine to meet it. Beautiful. Bring the thighs together. In. Let's go. And in. Let's go. And in. And again. And in. And again. Squeeze. Activating the inner thighs now. 
down. We're almost done with the section and up to the bar. Double. Small range of motion. High in the toes. Squeeze. 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 Eight more times. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Keep talking. Under. Under. Lift. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Hold on. One. Four. Three. Knees together. Small range of motion. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now we got it. Squeeze those knees together. Zipper them up. Eight, seven, six. Last. Five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Bring it down. Bring the thighs towards you. Oh, yeah. Roll those ankles. Take the leg furthest from you. Place it down on the floor. I got to back. Other leg closest to you. You can't see my foot, but my leg is straight up for pointed, turned out. Flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. Be nice to your feet. Now kick it up. Bop, bop, kick it up. And again, lift, lift. Use the energy. Four, three, use your power. Two, hold on one. Give yourself a little squeeze. I know in the past few weeks we've done PNF stretches. I'd love to do a class just on that. We don't have the time. Now I'm going to hover the leg furthest from you. I'm going to let go. Move my headpiece. Second set. Isometric contraction. Neck relaxed. Abdominals are contracted. Bring the legs together. Curl. And hold. But what's most important, keep your spine on the ground. Breathe out. Breathe out. Keep those legs turned out. That's going to offer a really nice contraction to your adductors. Breathe out. Two more. One more. Hold it up. Keep your shoulders up. Bend those knees. Second set. Reach forward. Curl. Reach forward, curl. Only drop your legs as far as your spine can stay on the ground. Remember, no further than 90 degree in. Reach out. Two more. We have lots to do. Wish I could do a class just on this, just on core. Two more, maybe sometime. One more. And hold it here. Put the headpiece behind you. If you're using one, bring those thighs in. Hands behind the thighs. My legs are going to help me to reach up. Rock and roll. I'm going to change the camera. We're going straight to the bar. Drink some water. Fix your mats. Let's go. Now, actually, I do have... I have many... Many, many exercise videos and a whole thing on core. Simply have to go to www.lisa-sherman.com. That's my website. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now, a lot of times, you know, especially in my classes, <clears throat> I teach, um, I'm at Jersey Strong on Wednesdays in Middletown at 10.30. <clears throat> And there, we're able to use balls and bands and all kinds of things. I don't know what you've got, so it's really, you know, a little frustrating because, well, it's not frustrating, it's just different. If I worked with you and I knew you and, you know, we had all the same gear, then we'd be able to use more gear. But for right now, we're using our body weight, and that's what we're doing, and that's fine by me. Okay, kids. We are at the bar, facing the bar. Big breath. Feet are under your hips. I'm simply going to lift onto my toes. Onto the toes. Now the music is going to slow down a little bit. Thank God. Three. Just warming up the feet and the ankles. Two more. Hold it up on one. 
and put the heels down. Now, that's your feet underneath your hips. I'm going to walk my feet forward. You've got to walk your feet forward for this imaginary chair. Now, my thighs are very close together. I lied. <clears throat> I'm going to open up my hips this time. <clears throat> my feet are just a little bit less than hip width. Elbows in. My feet are in front. Shoulders are over my hips. I'm going to squeeze my butt cheeks. I'm going to come down to a 90 degree imaginary chair flexion. My weight is neutral on my feet, but I'm now going to press down on my heels. I'm going to bend my elbows only as I come up to about three quarters, starting the exercise from here. Squeeze on one, drop, squeeze on three, push down, lift. So it's my elbows that bend to get me up. They're straight now. Push down, bend the elbows. Keep your spine straight. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Sit. Knees in line with the hips. Knees in line with the ankles or the ball of your foot, depending on the size of your foot and your level length. Press down, lift, and squeeze butt cheeks. Drop. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Press down on the heels. Bend the elbows. Lift. Squeeze. Drop, press down, lift to the rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, lift, squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift, squeeze, drop, squeeze, lift. Four more. Three, drop, squeeze. Really press down on the heels to come up. One more. Now hold. Now as you go down, my knees are coming together. My knees are squeezing. So it looks like um, my knees are squeezing. That's because my feet are kind of a little bit less than hip width apart. So I have somewhere to move, okay? Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Double time. Eight. Drop. 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 Eight more. Eight. Drop. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your thighs. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Last. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Bend the elbows. Up we go. Shake it out. Shake out your hands. Good job. Next. Concentrating on glute, hamstring, and quad. Let's break it down. We're going to start with the legs together. Once again, walk the feet a little forward for this. Hands in front of you. Now I'm going to suck in my ribs, sit my hips back. My shoulders are in line with my knees. This is the count of one. This is your squat. Now, I'm going to drive the leg closest to you back. Notice that my front knee is in line with the ankle. Shoulders are square. This is the lunge. From the lunge, we drop down. Now, make sure you don't drop forward. Drop down. 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 Hold here. Now, come together in a releve, so you're all tied up here, and down. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Here, two, three, four. Drop, 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 releve, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Four straight arms. Five, seven, releve, drop, back, sit, back, down, down, releve, drop, down, squat. I mean lunge. And together. Releve, squat, sit, drop, back, lunge. And releve, squat, lunge. 
down and walk to that front knee and drop back squat and down down two more squat lunge drop down down together drop down now give me eight seven six keep going make sure that that knee never goes in front of that toe. Four more, everybody. Four, three, two, and releve. Bring it down. Shake it out. We're gonna go right to the opposite side. You know what's coming. Feet a little bit forward. Let's break it down so you rehearse. Sit back into your squat. Let's talk about it. Make sure you have an imaginary mirror here so you can catch your breath. Pull your belly button up towards your spine. Zip up your ribs. Take the leg furthest from me, from, from, the, from you. Find your position. Watch that knee drop, drop. Come together, releve, down. Here we go. Squat. And you heard the music change. Down for two. And you lunge. Drop and together and squat. Drop down. Down and together. Releve. Squat for two. Drop. Drop. Come together. Releve. Down for two. Squat. Now when you squat, drop down, ribs are held, shoulders over hips, and squat for two, and you lunge, come together, and squat for two, drive that leg back, drop down, and together, and squat for two, drop back. Head held high, and squat for two. Drive it back, watch this knee straight down, and together. Sit, squat, drop down. Straight arms, come together, releve. Drop, squat, drop down, together, and squat. This time, stay here. Stay here. Share the weight between both legs. Down, come together, and bring it down. Shake it out. Well done. Quads, hamstring, glute, trunk stabilization. Get some water. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna put Put it together into a combo. We're gonna do everything except the lunge. To start this, you have to be very close to whatever your anchor is. You need to be very close. Your feet are glued together. Your thighs are glued together. They're zipped up. Zip. All right, we're gonna do the grand finale here. Up on the toes into a squat, you've already been there, but the heels are high. Sit down into an imaginary chair. Get those hips up and back into your squat. Shoulders over hips into your chair. Hips up into that squat, knees in line with the ankles. Straight up and bring your heels down. Three, two, one. Up for two, squat. Imaginary chair, squat. Imaginary chair, get your hips back. Good, straight up and down. Almost messed that one up. Up for two, squat for two. Imaginary chair, squat, hips back. Elbows only bend a little bit. Elbows only bend a little bit. Straight up, bring it down. Do it again. Up for two, squat for two. 
chair. Beautiful 90 degree. Get those hips back. Beautiful 90 degree. Hips back. Straight up. Bring it down. Do it again. Up for two. Squat for two. Chair. Squat. Get those hips back. Keep those heels high. Heels high. Straight up. Bring it down. Do it again. Up for two. Squat for two. Chair. Squat. Chair. Squat. Straight up. Bring it down. And again. Up for two. Squat. Chair. Squat. Elbows bend a little. Chair. Beautiful 90. Squat. Straight up. Last time. Up for two. Squat. Chair. Squat. Hips back. Stay high on those toes. Hips back. Straight up. Bring it down. Beautiful job. Now I'm going to take my leg closest to the bar, my foot, and I'm going to give it some love. Got to be nice to your feet. Your feet are the foundation of your, your vertical if you will, of your stance. What I'm doing is that I'm putting pressure on the front of my foot and I'm rolling it over, rolling it over. I'm going to change sides. I'm going to first start with that roll over. Here's a good visual of that. And then toe ball heel, heel ball toe, press over. And I'm really rocking that foot and giving it a nice, a nice stretch. Okay, now this next section You are going to face your bar. It's really important. I am not, because if I do, then you'll, your back will be to me and you won't be able to see. So this whole section is all about hip abduction. Abduction means away from the midline, away from the midline. It's, it's tough. I've tried a few different exercises with you guys with abductions and some works, some work if you're in the situation and some work better in person. This is a no fool's way. So I'm gonna talk you through this. I want you to be close to your anchor, close to your anchor. Shoulders over hips, zip up your ribs from your pubic bone to your sternum. I'm gonna take the outside leg and I'm going to just lift it a little bit. This is not a big deal. Now what's gonna happen is that you're gonna feel it in the standing hip because it has to activate to stabilize your pelvis. So I want you to look at my waistband of these legs, which is why I did not wear a shirt today. I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see you falling into your standing hip. I want you to have your line straight. Now, my knee is facing you. Now, I'm also putting a lot of pressure on my standing heel and that's going to activate my inner thigh. My inner thigh is going to also stabilize my pelvis. So, hold that leg up. You should feel it right about now. I better fix, I better fix my waistline <laughs> so I don't confuse you guys. You can place your hands wherever you want. And it's hold, two, three, and in. Now, I'm not going all the way in, but most of the way. And hold, two, three, and I'm already feeling this because of what I did yesterday, but that's my problem, not yours. Hold, two, three, and some people like to hold their hands out in a athletic way. Do what you want. Hold, two, three. Now remember, we can't be here for too long because we only have a bit of time to do everything. And hold, two, three. And hold, two, three. And you should be feeling in your standing hip already. Good. Pulse, 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 and pulse. Now keep going. Now I'm actually pulling my body away from this bar. You know, I'm pulling my body away from the bar. I move that mat. Two, three, and. So if I let go, I fall. Okay? Keep that. Keep that waistband straight, my waistband straight. Good, one count. Eight, seven, 
Starting to get tired in this hip, that standing hip. Good. Three counts. Three, two, one. And again, three, two. Push down on your standing heel if you're getting tired. Rest if you have to. And again, three, two, and hold. 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 Bring the leg down. Now, you did all that while you were here. I am now going to turn my back to you. You're simply going to have a different leg perspective. All right? So here it is. Here's my straight waistband. Hand is on my anchor. And believe me, we're not done with the hips. And I'm going to pull away so my weight is away. I'm going to lift up that leg that we just used. I'm putting pressure down on the heel of my standing leg and I'm not letting myself sink. Here we go. I hold, two, three, little bit in. Hold, two, three, little bit in. Now your standing leg is gonna be tired already because that's the leg you just used. Again, three, two, one, and, and make sure that that knee is facing forward and not up to the ceiling. Three pulses, three, two, one, shoulders over hips, three, keep those hips square, three, two, one, push down on the standing heel, three, two, one, and again, and again, coming up everybody, one count, out, out, little bit in, pull away from the bar, activate your inner thigh on the standing leg, lift, 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 six more, Five, hang in there. Three, two, and one. Now I lie, hold three, two, one. Again, three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, one. Last time. And we're gonna turn. Third set. So at this point now, take a breather, you should be feeling this straight across from your hip into the middle of your glute. All right, next section, I call this the square. You are still facing here, working the leg closest to the camera. Same idea, hold on to your anchor, pull your weight slightly away from, and lift. You're gonna feel a fatigue because you've already worked both sides. The movement is out to the side, back from there, squeeze back, but not in, in back of the standing leg and back to where you started, all right? Slowly, out, this is the square. Back from there, squeeze in, activate your inner thighs, to the beginning position. That's actually the beginning position. Three, four is just a neutral position. Let's go. One, two, squeeze, and notice that my hips are not dipping. That waistband trying to stay straight. Ow, back, squeeze, and out, back, squeeze, and out, back, squeeze. In, out, back, use your core, zip it up. Out, back, squeeze, zip it up. Out, back, squeeze, zip it up. Out, back, squeeze two more times. Out, back, squeeze, zip it up. Last time, then we're going on. From here, take a breather. Put weight in both your feet. All right, kids. In this position, turn your feet out. First position. First position. 
outside leg. Passe, toe ball heel down. All right, this is the exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's talk about it. Lift on one, notice straight across. This is the hard one. My knee is to knee. I am touching the inside of my standing knee, but my hips are square. Oh, goodness gracious. Back to the passe. It's very hard. Internal rotation, passe and down, okay? Are you ready? Here we go, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, rotate out, down. One, two, hard thing, stay strong on your standing leg. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, rotate out, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more times. One, rotate, square hips. That's the hardest thing. You're dying to dip, right? Don't dip. Three, four, five, six. Oh my God. Bring the arm up. It's called the port de bras. We're just going to come straight forward. Ugh. Roll up. I'm making noises here because of yesterday's class. All right. You're still facing your anchor. I am turning around, going to the square, okay? Let's get this done so we can get into more of the butt. Get your stance, focus. Press your standing heel down. Pull up, zip up your leg as you lift the outside thigh. Find out where your balance is. One, straight back and down. Abduct, extend, abduction, neutral. But notice that I'm not doing, I'm not worried about height. I'm keeping my hips square. Let's go. One, two, squeeze your butt and neutral place. That neutral place makes you want to dip. Try not to dip. Lean that way or whatever way you're leaning. You're facing your bar or your, your anchor. Squeeze it in to the rhythm. One, two, squeeze, neutral, abduct, extend, abduct, neutral, go. Two, three, four. Keep those hips square. Push down on your standing heel. Activate your inner thigh on the standing leg. Go. Out. Adduct. Neutral. And again. Two more. Squeeze. One more. And put the legs down. Shake it out. Next section. Passe. Find your new focus. When you passe, don't sit into the standing hip. Let's go. Passe. Rotate in. Rotate out. Rotate in. Out. In. Out, place it down. Two, the rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Open, toe ball heel down. Keep those hips square. Do it again. Passe, rotate, passe, rotate, passe, rotate. Do it again. Hips are square. Do it again. Make that leg work all by itself. Two more times. 
Stand strong on your standing leg. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Port de bras, forward. Roll up and shake it out. Holy crap. <laughs> Get some work. Okay. Next section will be about hip extension. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be about finger length from the from the bar, your anchor, whatever you want. You may not always have the best view. Um, can I do what I can do here, you guys? Okay, I'm going to releve. Now, I'm gonna use the leg closest to you. We're all facing our, our anchor, our bar. I'm going to simply arabesque Shoulders are square. I'm not worried about height. I couldn't care less about height. But make sure the leg is um, turned out. Got that? Now bring that leg in and give me a first position turnout. Looks like this. That was your practice. That's so you know where you're going to end up. We're going to do a passe again. I'm going to releve passe. You don't have to do that. You're going to hit that place where you just were. And I'm going to then passe and bring it down. We're going to add on. Let's go. One, two. Put that front heel down our best. Now only think of your front knee. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Bigger movement and together. Yes, I changed the rule. That happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Releve passe. Arabesque. Bend your front knee and you lift that leg even higher. Passe. Arabesque. Pull away from your anchor. Now really give it a good kick. That last extensive movement. Five, six, give me a good seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Bend, pull away from your anchor, big movement, and up, two, hold, two, bend, and really kick at the end. Up, two, arabesque, plie arabesque as you kick again. Passe releve, arabesque. Bend and come together. Do it again. Arabesque. Hold. Plie. Pull away from your bar. Try not to bob for apples. Try to keep your chest up. Kick. And again. Arabesque. Go. And give it a good kick. Other side. Get your balance. Put the foot down, catch your breath. Let's go. Arabesque, pop, pop set. Arabesque, bend your front knee, and let's do it again. That was a practice. Passe, releve, arabesque. Bend your front knee, pull away from the bar as you do that. Passe, arabesque. Bend your front knee, plie, really kick, and do it again. Passe, arabesque. Pull away, do it again. Passe arabesque. Let's go. Keep your, try to keep your chest up. Do it again. You're obviously going to move forward a little bit because that's how the body moves. But I really want you to sit in that front leg. Sit in that front leg. Now, plie more as you really try to kick that back leg. Arabesque hold. And you sit 
and you pick, come together. Arabesque. Now, and kick. Do it again. Again. Passe releve. Arabesque. Pull away. Plie. Kick. Again. Passe. Arabesque. Kick. Bat my kick. Up. And again. Passe. Arabesque. Plie. Bat my kick. And together. Up. For two. Arabesque. Up. Two more times. Again. Releve passe. Arabesque. Make sure you have that leg turned out. Last time. One, two, hold, and two more. That's it. And we are done with that section. Round over. Rolling up. Beautiful work. So that was all for your that was hip extension, knee flexion, everything combined into one. Now, we're going to go into the attitude rotations. If this is your leg, this is your attitude, try not to have your knee high or your foot high. Try to keep it level, just like I want, I was trying to show you Try to keep that, that hip, those hips level, instead of shifting. Once again, we're in that first position. We're gonna use the leg closest to you. We're going to lift up on one, passe. We'll releve later. Find that attitude position. Your job is to try to keep your shoulders square. Now, it's really sit into your front leg. That's a very small movement. Keep going. I'm going to talk to you. While you're doing this, what happens is that you get tired and you start to hyperextend. Pull your belly button up towards your spine. You really want to try to keep that leg level. Your front knee, your front foot should be turned out and your knee is relaxed. You're in a plie. You're still rotating. Still rotating. Eight more, a little bigger. A little bigger. Don't let your shoulders collapse. As you roll around, plie away from your anchor. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and bring it down. Round over. Well done. Roll up. Face me. Plie, releve, extend, bring it down to the rhythm. Plie, releve, straight up and down. Plie, releve, let's be kind to the feet. Plie, releve. On that plie, you want to melt, lift up those heels. On the count of three, which is this, zip up your thighs. Make pretend you're using the Suzanne Summer thigh master, remember that? God. And again, those are some pretty recent commercials. <laughs> if you look back to it. And again, four, four more. <sighs> Two more. Real base. Squeeze up one more time. Now hold it here and drop down. Down. And open the thighs. Open the thighs. Keep going. So if it was this view, your thighs are opening on the way down. They're opening on the way down with the load on the balls of your feet. And careful of this movement. You should be straight up and down. Straight up and down, all right? Give me eight, seven, lower. The people go straight down. Three, four, 
three, two, and zip up, bring it down. Roll your feet, give them some love. Other side. Okay, other side attitude. So this is a progression of intensity. You start out with small circles, get a little bigger, then add the, um, the anchored leg, all right? Start with the passe, zip up. Find your position. Standing foot is turned out, standing knee is relaxed. Try to keep your hips square. Let's go, small circles. Hold your ribs up. Remember, may pretend there's an imaginary mirror underneath you, seeing everything above, scary. <laughs> God, never want to do that. And again, up and around. Small range of motion. Small range of motion. As you're feeling a little bit more comfortable, you can, hey boo boo, this is my other cat. Bend your front knee, pull away from your anchor a little bit more. Now, when you pull away from your anchor, your anchor, you have to pull your ribs up that much more, okay? I can't hold you right now, sweetheart. Up and around. Now you're getting a little bit more tired, a little bit more fatigued, so we're gonna push a little harder. Yeah. So, as I sit back and down, pulling away. Remember, never let your knee go forward of your toes, yeah? Pull away from the bar or the way from your anchor, whatever you're holding on to. Circle. Eight. Seven. Six more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, roll back. Pull your belly button up to your spine and roll up. Nice work. So you know what? For our last bit of exercises today, let's try to do some arms. Why not? We've done pretty much the same um, combination the past few weeks. There's a reason for that because it gets everything in a very short period of time. And that's the, uh, that's the idea. You know what's so funny? I have my TV on. I am watching, I'm watching Hazel and that girl. I love that girl. Marlo Thomas was, she was my fave. Okay. Working full shoulder, feet are hip width apart, anterior deltoid. Now I'm using a very light weight. This is for submaximal endurance and tone. Submaximal endurance and tone. Arms to the side. Working medial deltoids. As we go on, any questions or concerns, you can reach me at vocalfit46 at gmail.com. Both arms forward, both arms side. Both arms forward, both arms side, forward, and side, and forward, and side. Beautiful. Two more times. Okay, from here, you're gonna see me change my position. And we've done this the past few weeks. Going into a nice wing, that's what I call this, the wing. Upper back, medial delts, medial and upper trapezius. All right, like an upright row. Elbows high, framing your face. Keep going. Adding on, both arms forward, both arms side. Give me wings. Beautiful. Moving on, I'm going to rotate. And this one goes, this offers nice gentle rotation for those external rotators, your rotator cuff. You've got a lot of, you know, there are quite a few rotator cuff muscles. This is just making your probably two sets of them you're hitting by doing this exercise. Two more. 
One more. Now, bring your arms forward. Bring your arms side. Show me your wings and give me a rotation. Now, when you do the rotation, arms forward, make sure you really drive your elbows into your waistline. Drive them in as you rotate. There you go. Beautiful. Side, give me a nice wing and a rotation. Again. <sighs> give me a wing. Give me a rotation. We're going to do this one more time. Forward. Side. Wings. Rotation. Hands down. Give me a squat. Sit your hips back. Back. Now, as you go back, pull your ribs up. Good. Keep it going. You continue with this. You'll see my arms. I do a curl. Oh, screw that up completely. One, two, three, four. Hello, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again. Give me a bicep curl. I don't know where I went with that one. So this goes into that shoulder extension with a deep squat, squat, just the arms. Give me a squat again with a curl and curl overhead. Drop your hips back, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, put it together, arms forward, arms side. Give me wings, rotation, bicep curl squat, overhead press. Sit down deep, bicep curl, do it again. Anterior, medial, and your, oh, I guess I must be tired. I'm starting to lose my words. That happens. Give me a squat, sit back, do it again. Anterior, <laughs> medial. Give me the wings, give me a rotation. Bicep curl, squat. Overhead press, and drop down. Last time, here we go. Anterior, now, give me the wings, rotate. We're gonna stay with the overhead as I talk to you. Obviously, we can't do everything in this period of time. Well, some people can, but I didn't. It's really important that you make sure you stretch when you're done with this class because it's imperative. We worked hard. Two more. One, drop back and lift up. Bring the elbows back. Get those elbows high. Hold your ribs up. Sit back onto your heels, neck is relaxed. Just give me eight extensions. Notice, see, I'm the movement. My, my hands really never go in front, all right? They stay back and the elbows stay high. Three pulses, three, two, one, little release. So when you're done with this class, it is so important that you stretch. And I'm sure you can stretch on your own. You know what to do at this point. Again, any questions or concerns, reach out to me. Vocalfit46 at gmail.com. Two more. Pulse, pulse. Last time. Give me one, one extension back as you squat. Sit back. Sit back. Pull your ribs up away from the floor. Four. Three, two, and sitting up. Put your weights or cans down. Shake out your hands. Really, really quick range of motion. Movement, reach out, 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 out. Now hold it here, we just don't have the time, you guys. Bring your arm around, get a little stretch. Once again, I have videos from way back in the 80s, all Nike produced. I was with Nike for a long time. Bring the arm up, stretch back. So you'll see me in some pretty pretty crazy looking outfits, but um, what's really nice is that the biomechanics of the, you know, of, of the videos are still up to date, fabulous. And uh, I have everything, upper body, core, pregnancy, everything. Got the pregnancy video, got a five star. I was really happy with that one. Hold this back, bring the arms back, 
Lift up your chest, slight hyperextension. Bend your knees, reach up. I'm gonna turn this way slightly. Please make sure you stretch on your own time. So we spend our whole time working out. Reach down, let your body just hang. Let your body hang like a limp rag doll. Bend your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. We did it. Great job today. Um, thank you. We'll see you soon. Next week, same, same place, same time. Take care, everybody.